This is synthetic. Uh, I only know about this game because Noel, uh, who is one of our, our one of my coworkers uh, at the lab, uh, he played it with some friends and started freaking out about how good it was, and he started you know promoting it on our on our Slack channel. Uh, and so I tried it out. I do li- I do really like top down shooters, so I tried it out, and it is pretty impressive. So. Um, you can play one of four classes, and I'm just about to try out a new class I've never played before. So, given the fact that, number one, I haven't played this game in about a week, and number two, I'm trying out a new class, I'm probably going to suck and forget how the game works. But that's okay. We can discover this together. Alright, so I'm this dude in the bottom. I just came out of a hole, and I'm about to fight some dudes, so... Okay, so reloading in this game is insane. So in most games, what do you do? You just hit an R button, right? And and then, whoa, and then the game reloads. This one, I have to hit E first to eject my magazine. Then I hit R, and then it's an active uh, an active reload mechanic like Gears of War. So, so just trying to get a timely reload to happen is really rough. And then on top of that... When you're shooting long distance, uh, you can see your reticle gets much wider when you're moving. And you get really used to, in top-down shooters, you get really used to the idea that you should just be moving around all the time. Uh, constantly dodging shots like you're in a bullet hell game. But in this game, you actually want to stop periodically to get, uh, to get, better, uh, to get better aim on the enemies. And so it starts with stuff that's familiar, but then it really makes you learn to do things in a totally different way. Uh, let's see here. So I can get 20% ammo. Let's get some more movement speed. Okay, so you're constantly... So this is a roguelike style game. So you're constantly upgrading yourself. The levels appear to be procedurally generated or something like that. Oh, and you can also dash around, by the way, but not very often. What's this? Oh, yeah, a core. I think if I get four of those, something good happens. I'm not sure what. Okay, so that guy up there is very, very dangerous. If I let him get close to me. Okay, cool. Just barely had enough bullets for that. That would have been bad. Another thing that's interesting is this is a top-down shooter where headshots matter. Like, if you actually fire and you hit... It's so odd because uh, it's an isometric perspective. And so you're pretending this is happening in 3D when it's actually happening in 2D and it just it's simulating 3D. Except that you actually do have to aim for the head on a guy, which is a 3D thing. And so it's just totally weird. And I can't quite figure out how it works. So you've got a, like a halo style shield, which means you can actually like stand still and let enemy shoot at you a little bit before it becomes um, too dangerous. Oh, I can increase my max health, my movement speed again, or get some armor. Let's get some armor. I think that reduces each shot, but I'm not dead certain. Okay, I gotta eject, reload. Yeah. These fire shots are pretty damaging. E, R, R again. <laughs> it is interesting to me that this top down shooter has got a more hardcore, serious reloading mechanic than most first person shooters, which you know, are trying, usually are trying harder to be immersive and realistic compared to a top-down shooter. Top-down shooters, there's so much artifice built into them, you don't really expect them to be realistic. And so, giving you, like, the separate step of hitting the eject button, then reloading separately, and also the fact, did you notice that if I have bullets in, in my magazine and I hit the E button, it actually wastes some of the bullets. Like, I actually am ejecting and dropping a magazine that had perfectly viable bullets in it. Which is just, you know, maybe Arma does that. I'm not sure. But uh, you don't expect a top-down shooter to do it. So this game is just fascinating in, in, a, in, a, in a sort of league of its own. And so I actually don't know. Uh, uh, Zarnathium referred to this as, poss- as a twin-stick shooter. I'm not actually sure if it even plays with controllers. 
Like, yeah, it certainly, I mean, maybe there's an option in the options menu, but I don't think this actually works with the controller. There's so much to, you know, so much to do with where your actual crosshair is if you're getting headshots. Um, or, you know, you can see aiming far away gives you less accuracy than aiming close up. Though I guess the, you're shooting in the same direction. And so it's just that feedback telling you about your aiming cone uh, that, that, that would be kind of irrelevant if you were playing with, with two sticks. Ah, that's that's inter an interesting question. So I've got a new gun now. So let's see what this one does. I can switch between my two guns with the mouse wheel. So this one's got look at high capacity, and well, let's let's see what it does. I can buy things. A tsunami talisman. I don't even know what that is. I don't have enough credits for it anyway. So what do I have here though? Let's see here. Oh, I've got a shotgun with the right, right mouse button. I've got a sentry turret I can put down. And I can supply myself in the field. Let's put down a sentry turret, see what th that is. Oh, wait. Okay, did it not happen? Uh, something went wrong. Oh, crap. Okay, this is an extremely chaotic gun. Uh, so... My sentry turret got... It, it went on cooldown. So did, was, it, was I just supposed to place it where I was standing and I was standing too close to something, maybe? I don't know, I gotta figure out what, what, what happened there. Oh, those little drones. Oh, I'm jammed. Ow. Oh, so many guys. So it fires in bursts, but they're huge bursts. Like, I can't stop firing once I start firing. It's actually a lot like the, uh, was it, the Pyro Launcher in the uh, Independence Pack uh, for State of Decay 2. Alright, I got some ammo. Yeah, let's, let's grab a new weapon. Okay, heavy flak cannon. Airburst cluster? Let's also, let's try, a, okay, let's try a turret again. Okay, I, I messed it up somehow. There it is. Oh, there's the turret. Okay, so it can't fire for a little bit, so it's probably good to set it up before attracting enemies to it. Oh, we just got a weapon upgrade. Uh, let's not use it yet until we know what we think of this gun. Oh, wow. So it, like... Oh, crap. Lots of enemies. Dude, stop that. Get away from me. Okay. <laughs> so it's a shotgun. It doesn't spread out like a cone. It just makes a bunch of impacts... Wait, who escaped? What, did I have a mission to prevent someone from escaping? I didn't even know about it. Oh, crap. Ah, crap. Ow! Okay, that kind of walked into that one, literally. This sure is an interesting gun. An item. A scoundrel's dagger? What does that do? It's a swift dagger attack. I have to... I have to hit the four button swiftly. That, that'll that be rough. Okay, so I think this might be my most versatile gun. So let me put, apply the upgrade to this one. So, okay, so it goes up in a bunch of generic ways, but then I can also pick a special power for it. So losing sh shields grants ammo regeneration. Okay. Uh, I can fire extra projectiles. I don't even know if I'll even notice if that's happening. Um, reduces caliber usage or... What? Adds accuracy and control. Increases magazine size at 50% damage cost. Well, that's, that seems like narrowing my cone of fire with this gun sounds pretty valuable, actually. 
Okay, so I haven't found the exit yet. Oh, hey there, Asgard. Thanks for coming back. And Durzak, I haven't acknowledged you yet. Welcome. Yeah, Durzak, I think you were right. I think that, that I just <laughs> placed my turret in, inside the shop, and so that's why it didn't work. Okay, have I... Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's further this direction. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay, so wait. I expected... I expected that this to be a big place that I had found, but it is not a big place. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, here we go. Oh, now I'm close enough to the exit that I'm being prompted in the upper left corner to, to go there. Oh, holy crap, you guys can't see my weapon selection. Hold on a second. That's not good. There. I think that's the best place to stick you guys. Um, or to stick my, my own head, I should say. This looks like I can choose something, but I don't know how. Alright, get an item after annihilating that dude. I just love the sheer amount of overkill associated with this weapon. Also this one. <laughs> not not every game gives you such ridiculous over overpowered. Not really overpowered. I mean, these weapons all have their drawbacks, but they're just behaving ridiculously on the map. Um devastating heavy lightning strike near enemies oh and this is just this one is just passive so just periodically you'll see enemies get struck by lightning uh that's because of this power that i just picked up so cool nothing up here oh, hello i wonder if direct hits with that gun are more powerful than area effect hits okay, i've got some health Oh, Durzak suggests that the directional buttons might be what I need to use if I want to make selections there. I, I, I assume that's in uh, like as opposed to using WASD. So those sniper rifles, if you actually let them fire at you, are devastating. So you want to, like, if it starts pointing at you, you want to get out of the way before it has a chance to fire. And then you can come back later and it won't necessarily be aiming at you. Get away from me, jerk lasers. But oh, what? Oh, I'm all out of ammo. Crap. Crap. I have aggroed way too many enemies now. And I'm only using my pistol because I'm stupid. Okay, we got some more ammo now. Hi there. I'm glad that I have... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, this is going to be bad. Alright. I think that the burst duration of this gun is random. I, sometimes I think it's a really long burst, and sometimes I think it might be short. At least that's how it feels. And there's, there goes my lightning strike. You see that, like, one short burst and then one super long burst? Chrono Troopers? What? I don't want timey-wimey troopers coming after me. Ah, I can't even... Oh, oh and I'm dead. And I'm dead. Well... Probably should have been more careful with that situation. <laughs> Collected some data, which I think is your like long-term slow buildup of currency. I'm up to level two with my specialist. So I needed to be using that sentry turret a lot more. Uh, I, I really was not acting like I was aware of my um, of my abilities. So let, let's start that again. You can you can pick up a lot of. Uh, abilities over the course of the game, but that's one that comes with this character natively. Yeah, 
Cloudcraft suggests that uh, charging forward is probably not the best way to play this game. That is true a lot of the time. I mean, basically, yeah, so, so if you're going to retreat in this game, you want to retreat to a place that you have, oops, that you have already uh, been to and eliminated all the enemies from. Because, yeah, running out into new areas and aggroing a bunch of new enemies is just a death sentence. So one thing I really like about this game is its appreciation of redundancy. Oh, crap, what is it? So again, this is me running away into a place full of enemies. Not the best move. Luckily, oh, what is happening? Something was about to target me. I don't know what it was, but... Looks like there's a mortar on me. Where's this mortar? You see I wasted ammo? Anyway, redundancy. So, there's a few different ways this game employs redundancy in its UX. One is that when I'm reloading... I'll hit eject, and you'll see it shows stuff on my character and also on my um, on my cursor. So when when I hit, first of all, you can hit R or space. Both of them work. Uh, space is a lot easier to use when you are navigating with WASD at the same time. But then I hit R, and the reload uh, uh, bar appears both around my cursor and on top of my dude. Look at that again. See that? So. I don't, so, so basically, they're just anywhere that I might want to see that feedback, they give it to me. Because sometimes I'm looking at my cursor, sometimes I'm looking at my guy. Either way, I can always see feedback for the reload process. And also, the same feedback is also on my HUD at the bottom of the screen. If I want to, you know, if if I want to, you know, check in on the, some of the same information is down here. So they just they're just filling the screen with information and making it as clear and you know obvious as possible. Which I appreciate. Oops. I hit... I thought I was hitting the right button, but I... And I never found this mortar. Where is this mortar that's hitting me? There, that's what I wanted to do. I kept hitting some button other than the one button, which doesn't make any sense when you're trying to use your one power. Yeah, those things are the worst. They do so much damage if you let them get close to you. Okay, I'm already very much under fire. Okay, this this is a mortar right here. They can shoot you from anywhere if they're aware of you, so. Go away, lasers. Ah! 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 I'm in such trouble! <laughs> oh, I just missed him with every single shot. up there. I'm really surprised I haven't gotten a new weapon yet. Damage Pasta's boost. Ready. Oh, pasta's ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll be down in just a second. Oh, and quesadillas. And is Okay, well, I am a lucky dude. So, we will just try to finish this a little bit. And then I'm going to go up and have some dinner. 
Oh, so many guys. Well, we're about to watch me die. Oh, and now I'm stunned. Okay, hold up. Oh, look, I survived. Crazy. Oh, oh, the snipery thing. Ow, stop. Let me dodge. Ah! It drives me crazy to have a dodge move that I can't use all the time. Okay, seriously, get away from me, little laser guys. Oh my gosh. The hassle that it is to reload is just one of the major challenges of this game. The fact that you... I mean, like... Oh, good. Some health. Like in real life, you know, if you run out of bullets in the middle of a uh, firefight, it's not a small thing to just decide to reload. Like... It's not just you hit a button and then just the, it automatically takes care of itself the way it does in a video game. And so it's it's fun to sort of get to a point where I'm being chased by enemies, I just need to reload, and let's see here, increase my shield max. And I can't. Alright, so let's go... What the... What button am I hitting instead of the one button when I think I'm hitting the one button? Let that guy stay in the line of fire. No. What's this? Hyperfeed. Resets heat to minimum, removes ammo cost for a duration. Huh. Oh, great. Hey, dude. Did he say, uh oh? Finally, another weapon. Holy crap. <sighs> Alright, let's see what this thing does. Oh, it fires laser projectiles, I guess. Yeah, Cloudcraft points out that, that all of my habits that I've learned from other games that tell me I should be circle strafing and just running ahead of the enemies all the time are really getting me in trouble. Oh crap, get, ah, get unstuck from geometry, please. Um, incendiary laser cells, sure. Do I oh, eject to switch ammo, and then I reload, and now do I have incendiary laser shells? Yes. Oh, oh crap. And I got ammo. Hey, buddy. So you can tell... I have incendiary because he starts his his health bar catches fire, which is again another thing I just love. I loved it in one of my favorite things in Mass Effect was the way they used colors and, and and different you know representations on the health bar to tell you detailed information about the kind of damage you were doing and 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 and, and what kind of effects things would have. And I like the way this one does that too. You know you can tell when you set an enemy on fire because their health bar turns orange, and you can tell when you're no longer doing damage over time because it stops being orange. I'm actually kind of interested in dying, uh, so I have a good excuse to go and eat some dinner. Oh, jammed.
I'm doing the stupid thing again where I like run and I aggro a bunch of new enemies while I'm trying to escape the original set. Ow. Sometimes you get caught on geometry without expecting it in this game. Okay. It's like part of me wants to die, but another part of me can't do it willingly. It's like I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm Schwarzenegger in the Terminator and I can't self-terminate. Speaking of Terminator, is any- oh crap! Is anyone watching the show Humans? I think it's a BBC show. It's based on a Swedish show. I did forget about my turret again, didn't I? Because I'm super into, for some reason, I'm super into robot fiction these days. And uh, I haven't been watching um, Westworld, though I intend to now that it's on, uh, it's coming out on iTunes, I believe, this month. I'm planning on catching up. I watched season one and really liked it, so I'm looking forward to the new one. Uh, but in the meantime, I've been getting my robot fix uh, by watching uh, Humans, which is a really good show. It, like, it dresses a lot of, like, serious modern political issues from the perspective of robots trying to be recognized as proper citizens in uh, in modern society. Oh, Durzak is telling me I can press X to see what stats a weapon has got. Oh, look at that. So if I really want to figure out these guys, I just barely got a brand new one here, this particle cannon. So you see it's got 8 mag size, max ammo 34, so okay, I'm assuming that each shot from this thing is pretty powerful. Durzak, I haven't met you before. Last time I had a stranger uh, in my chat while I was playing um, Synthetic, they were a dev from the team. Is that uh, is there any chance that uh, that you are also on the team, or are you just someone who's really familiar with Synthetic? I wouldn't be surprised by either, honestly. I know that whenever a game of mine comes out, uh, I'm usually very, very interested in seeing people's reactions firsthand. Oh, the lasers are going to take out my turret. No, they're not. They're just going to come after me. Alright. Eject. Reload. Stop chasing me, missiles. Okay, my pistol. My particle cannon, which needs to be reloaded. Okay, okay, okay. Picked up another upgrade. Hmm. Do to do reload vent. While heat is vented. Oh, sure, whatever. Wait, what is this over here? Oh, it's armor. An armor plate. Cool. Hmm. Seems like something is happening. Durzak says they're just familiar with the game. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to like, you know, get all excited about you potentially being a dev on the game because I think this game has definitely got its. It's got a lot of uh, fans, a lot of people who are super into it, which says something great about the game. I know the guy who recommended it to me could not say enough good things about it. Like. He kept feeling like if other people weren't getting super ridiculously excited about it, he wasn't doing his job. He's like, I don't feel like I'm really communicating to you guys how fun this game is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm playing way too well um, right now. Which means I'm probably going to have to uh, quit this game prematurely to go to dinner. I was just really expecting to just get completely murdered. Yeah, you go ahead and watch my back turret. I'll take these guys out.
<laughs> I have no idea what this gun is doing. It's like it's like am I calling in a orbital strike or something? How? Okay, well that guy is gonna take me down. Ow! All by himself. I will not need any help. Seriously? Oh, I cannot be killed! I've already been up here? Looks like I've been up here. Where have I not been? I need to at least get this to some kind of satisfying conclusion. Here we go. What's this guy? Accept quest? Sure, just a second. Oh, get off me. Oh, these guys. Ah! Oh! Oh, no! 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 Nah! Like, all of my guns are out of ammo now. Oh, we can do this. And here's some medical supplies. I cannot be killed. Yeah, let's take a quest. Gotta eliminate a target. Gotta find the headhunters before they escape? What are the headhunters? Oh, looks like, okay, got little arrows on my, um, on my messages up here, so let's find them. Oh, hey, headhunter. All right, he was killed by fire. Let's see what else we can do. Where's this guy? Yay, I got a random reward. All right, I guess we're heading for the exit, and we'll quit there. <laughs> do to do. Oh, who are these guys? It's like I've been stunned or slowed down or something. All right, that works. We'll, we'll stop near the exit for now, and uh, I'll probably come back to this uh, to this game later. But that is synthetic. I, I want to come back to it though uh, a little bit later and see if I can uh, show like the the level of ups and the unlocks and all the other things that keep this game interesting over time. So hopefully we can do that later.